Hey, Suhime and I welcome you to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence. I'm the Mysterious JG. And, um... I'm ready to pick this back up. Sneak in a couple of videos now. Let's see what happens. I've only had one negative comment so far, really, which is from somebody who said and um, I thought Nobunaga's Ambition was more fun than this. I couldn't really tell if they were critiquing me or this particular game. Here's Nene, um, who always makes the occasional time I'll mention Nene. He just causes their fault to reference a R&B song. Um, but yeah, everyone else seems to be pretty happy because people are writing in-character stuff about, you know, how they're not getting to do, not getting to conquer enough cities or this, that, or the other. Um, believe me, there's going to come a point where we get out of this uh, heavily story-driven stuff and it's just open-ended. And you're going to have big, long stretches of not necessarily being able to conquer cities at the rate we're conquering them at right now. But for now, let's take advantage of the fact that the story's in full force. So we are supposed to protect Motomiya Castle for one year, which actually should be fairly easy, because we've already defeated the unit that was attacking. And our next plot thing is left to come. So this video actually should be fairly peaceful. Peaceful. So, what we might want to do here is, um... The other thing is, I'm going at kind of a breakneck pace. We have time between each of these quest objectives to fulfill them. And if we keep going at this pace, we're going to get to the end of uh, all of our Date quests for this scenario. And I've already told you, once we do the Date quests, I'm going to kind of... Uh, try to get to our starting point in the next scenario, and then we have to start a brand new scenario, which will actually cast uh, take us through Sekigahara. Otherwise, we have the Hojo down here, who are not going to go away, even though historically they should be, because the Date are part. They play a small role, you know, together with the rest of the coalition and finishing off the Hojo, and that really does a lot to change the shape of Japan. But um. Things aren't going to go anywhere near, uh, like, they're not, we're not going to have that happen unless uh, I jump to a future scenario, which kind of skips the fall of the Hojo. And it's not so much that I am afraid of the Hojo, although, frankly, they would crush us if we fought them right now. But, I mean, through a combination of alliances and um, holding them at bay until I can conquer more territories and allying with powerful foes, I mean, we can, we can deal with the Hojo. Although in this scenario, the Hojo are together with the uh, Tokugawa, who are not yet the ultimate power in Japan. Um, but really, it's just like, no, the scenario I kind of want to play is a different scenario. So what am I getting at in this long aside? Uh, we're going to do a bunch of stuff and complete a bunch of historical stuff that tells the story of how Masamune solidified his hold over the Date clan. And then we're going to jump ahead. But if I keep going through the quest at this pace, we're going to end up jumping ahead like more than a decade. Um, so I guess I'm telling myself, I can slow it down. And it's okay. That being said, if we do... If we add lots and lots of facilities, it's going to improve our towns, but it's going to go through our labor very quickly. Go through our labor even more quickly building castle stuff, but annexes are kind of important because they will increase the speed at which the population grows. And spending all of our labor every turn on a develop is not really. I mean, what I'm frustrated by is that I've got cities like this one. Okay, it's got a couple thousand troops it can have. It's like 1,200. But I got these cities here that are never going to be able to field a unit of 1,000 troops. Even if you leave them alone and let them restock. They just don't have... They just don't have that many troops. That just isn't how they're set up. So, I mean, you could keep working on conscripts. Or we can actually be... Um, I have been spending a lot of labor on improving roads. Dusty roads. But I should probably be building uh, actual facilities in the, the cities themselves.
Well, I'll tell you what, though. This place is now kind of a frontline city as well. So we could get going on better stuff here. Good idea, my liege. But actually, if we build... Um, if we get building earthen walls there and turrets... We've actually used up all of our labor already. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, normally, like when we get to our main game and I'm finished with this, I will be spending a lot of gold working on the Imperial Courts at all times to try to climb the rankings, but it's not that much point doing it right now. Let's try to appease some tribes where I think we might eventually have need of their support. So we're not going to use Vulture Bean because I want her to be the... Um, I want her to continue to be uh, Overseer. I'm really ripping through the gold this way, but... Cardiando, <laughs> another one of these people who, uh, the person who created that character is, uh, currently, and I enjoy reading them, I'm not, you know, don't get me wrong, she's writing in character stuff, so that'll give her something to talk about, how she was sent on a diplomatic mission, because she fancies herself a warrior. <laughs> I mean, anytime she's asked to do anything other than fight wars, she seems to, like, you know, think that she's not being used for the right purpose, but, eh, in my mind, I'm like, eh, we're... We're making her a more rounded person. <laughs> um, also, it's a warrior tribe she's going to go talk to, so... Um, and I actually, I think this might be the tribe... Yeah, maybe now I'm role-playing myself a little bit. I'm under the impression that these guys helped her out in a previous battle, so I would say it makes sense that she's established rapport with them. But whatever. Who else can we appease? Uh, it's a little worried. It's a little early to start working on you guys. And are not doing diplomacy. Okay, we got adjacent bases growing due to road improvements. Lady Topanzer, Shiva Clan taking over stuff. The Yasso Clan's taking stuff over. Let us begin the meeting. Here's last month's balance. Let's begin the meeting. Reporting in. Honda tribe supports the Kurokawa tribe supports us. The Mizo tribe. Uh, more of them are interested in us. Honda tribe supports us. Ono tribe supports us. Oh, your earthen walls aren't quite ready yet. Thing is, you gotta you gotta do like two constructions to get that annex going. And really uh, get the population increase. You've got to be building um, heavier walls too. So it just feels like we're wasting a lot of labor. Meanwhile, you know, almost every city's got facilities that it could be building because I haven't been building my facilities. I've been just trying to do other development. So what have you got going on? Oh well, we want this place to grow because it's got really good. Uh, it has specialty districts that we're not currently accessing, and even a fountain. Which will eventually give us a reservoir. I 
know, popularity increases, population increases quickly. You know, I go back and forth between whether I want to do these or I want to do churches and cathedrals to get um, more conscripts at cities. But the population increase thing might be good. It's not that much, though. Let's build up some churches. The new Western religion is kind of the cool thing right now. you towards being a cargoman because eventually there'll be conscript districts here that you're supporting other than just this one I think I'll put another conscript district here so we'll start you working towards being a cargoman that only gives us two labor, labor. Suddenly, somebody told me it doesn't stockpile the way I thought it did it just uh so, I might not know what the heck I'm talking about. And that's all of our labor. These guys already have really high support. So, I think we can actually save some money in this turn. Walls are completed. Sheba clan has taken over more stuff. Churches and villages are being constructed. Somebody took the post of sergeant. Your orders. Templar. Here's last month's balance. We actually made a little bit Reporting of gold. In. Seems we're running our two are in our, our lands. Go spend that gold we made. Hiring new people. Ooh, we can uh, match a maiden to an officer. Oh. Well, I got two ladies to work with. Well, first of all, let's hire some Ronin. We got... Anyway, I can actually read about this guy first. Here we go. Dahoiji retainer. Following Lord Yoshiji's death, his brother Yoshinaga made him Chamberlain of War Castle. He was killed trying to avenge a defeat in battle by Shigenaga Hanjo. I wonder if he's one of those created characters. Uh, cause he's not talking about a whole lot of stuff that makes sense to me. There are certain characters that are created, that are like, they're treated as created characters in a way, but they have backstory. They're just from other periods in Japanese history, and I think I included them in the game. We're going to allow him to serve under us. So I'm curious, it looked like it was plus nine population increase that came out of these things. And this does a plus nine as well. Wow, it's really only, it gives you a lot more hit points in your castle. But it really, uh, population increase wise, it's no bigger than a than the uh, rice market or whatever it was. Or a theater. So maybe I need to be doing no theaters and stuff in those cities now. Instead of uh, churches. Either way, it's a big it's a big increase of the hit points of a castle, which means it's a good thing to do for my frontline castles. Although I obviously can't afford to do it to too many. I'm gonna have to sell some food. What would you like? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are so stupid. So they are working on an enclosure. They've already got earthen walls. I need to get a uh, sally port going so that the troops can march out if they are attacked. I 
I've used up a lot of my cash improving Sukagawa Castle. I don't think Otomori is going to be threatened. I think if um, the Ogre of Hitachi or whatever attacks again, he's probably going to come up through Sukagawa. Motomiya, on the other hand, probably needs a Sally Port. Other now that I'm looking at it, well, no, Sally Port would be a good idea. And that's using up most of our gold and almost all of our labor. I probably need to now what purchase like? rifles. Thank you very much. Trying to keep the stock up. That used up all that money I earned. Oh well. But I think I've got the. Um... Let us enact yeah, because I've got the Dragoon Corp policy active. So as long as I've got that, I need, either need to re uh, deactivate it or I need to maintain my muskets. So this one would result. This one would cost. Fifteen seventy-five a month, but my income would go up by less than that. Okay, it's, I guess it's taking the cost into account. Because my income... It must be taking the 1575 a month into account. Because it is, uh, it is showing my total income after that amount going up. What else have I got? Harvest increases based on number of months enacted. Doesn't change my income, although it's cost us. I don't get this. I don't know if it's actually netting your cost, because here... Total cost, income. 28, 25 minus 530 would be about 23. 35, 61 minus 21 is less. Yeah, this is actually not... Okay, that income is not net income. So I think some of these make sense only when you've got more bases. Like this one, officers with high abilities become more loyal. Is a good one. And it's cheap. Right now I don't have a lot of money, so never mind. Uh I felt like a big waste of energy. But yeah, we gotta have a gotta have a few videos worth of piece here while we uh complete this quest and figure out what's next. So we have Bailey's completed. It's Paige. Your lead, my lead, your retainer, Kajiro Katakura, has had a son. He'll be named Shigenaga when he comes of age. And he's going to be super annoying to me and Neo. Let us begin the meeting. Here's last month's balance. Okay, so we actually made money this month. Reporting in. My journey's paid off, and I've grown. Good job, Bro King. All right. Let's work on a cargo men here.
I'll get a job done with less people. You'll see. Yeah, see, I even spared us some labor. JG Mysteries, that freaking good. Start working towards the cargoman. Gets it done faster than usual. Kind of working my way down the northern cities here. Although you've got more than one thing you can build. Apparently. So I'm going to work you towards a coin exchange. Although, no, I got population increases quickly. I should be doing that. Because that's what I've decided I care about. So I'm playing with it. I'm playing around with it in this one. I might not use the same track later. Yeah, I mean, maybe I just go around building rice dealers everywhere just to get super fast population growth. Rice dealers everywhere! Hold the line! She wants a greater harvest. She is probably right, although she is no longer the best person to have as overseer because someone with higher poles become available. Have uh, support not really slipping rapidly with these forces. I guess somebody's trying to get these guys on their side other than me. Castles being yielded, people's poles are going up, villages are getting constructed. It's great. Let us begin the meeting. Here Let's is begin last month's balance. Reporting in. Oh, I've grown. I'll keep a level head, though. Don't lose your head. Make a history. What would you like? Sell some more food? Thank you very so much. So we're obviously not attacking anybody until we get uh, another harvest in. But now that I'm into this uh, development mode, I want to make sure I got plenty of cash. Yeah, let's just go with rice dealers everywhere. Everywhere that has commerce districts that need to develop, that is. Oh, this is, um... Agricultural. So... This will likely be another agricultural. Attack power increases attack power. Probably end up being an orchard because it's not going to actually be able to uh, to do anything with my um, military district. Because here, this place is not high suitability for military district. So we'll build a canal here. And this sort of uh, domestic is video is most of what the game is usually about, guys, just so you know. A skill like mine, this shouldn't take too long. Good job, Masamune. Show them how stables are built, Masamune. Leaves us enough to develop one city, and I'm tempted to keep working on Tsukagawa. Try to increase its max soldiers. Max power! Stables can be changed. Ooh, canals have been constructed. Your orders? Here is last month's balance. Reporting in. I don't know how I supplanted Grimmeth as the voice of reason there, but I did for a while, so. This place, their stable can be changed. 
So if we can get a ranch going, I want to get that going right away. Horses become cheaper. Okay, Motomia. Working towards a reservoir because when there is some kind of building that is dependent on having a resource, it's almost always the best one to build. Even if the described effect isn't that great, like, you know, prevents loss of crops during flood, when floods don't happen that much in this game, it also says, like, you know, makes district more suitable for whatever. It does it more than other buildings th whose descriptions say makes it more suitable. Did that make sense? What I'm saying is if you have, like, canals, it makes district more suitable for crops, but then there's something else that's like, um, you know, reservoir, makes district more suitable for crops, prevents loss of crops and flood, it'll turn out that canals will increase output by, like, 100, and then a reservoir will do it by, like, 200. You can't always tell just from the description. You can go in and look at stats here. We're going to go from max agriculture 378 to 756, and if you were comparing it to something else... This one's 378 to 630, but it also has an effect on neighboring districts. But for us, we're going to end up going for a cargo in here, probably. So let's go to village. And, uh, little more. He continues to have more stuff to do, but let's give Neon Matsu a chance. Oh, well, they've got a fountain, so we want to be working towards a reservoir there, too. And continuing to try to beef up the uh, soldier counts in our frontline cities here. I wouldn't mind having higher soldier counts in those places as well, but um, when it comes time for war, it's going to be fought out of Rifu, a little bit out of Koizumi, and then the main force at any given time is going to come out of Yonezawa. Alright. So we've had a peaceful couple of months here. Shibata clan attacking Sekigahara Castle. It's going to be kind of an important site later. Ah, oh, but we've protected Monomiya Castle for one year. Which means, the let me, I need to slow down the progression of time. But no, we're going right into the story. The Satake army had one aim, capture the Date clan's Miyamoto Castle. But I tell you what, guys. I don't think it really pissed anyone off too much as these are going up live because I'm putting up two videos a day. But we had an entire video of domestic development while waiting for the next plot event. And now that plot event's here. To me, the logical step right now is call it a video. And when we come back next time, we'll be full-fledged in the world of plot. And I'm Serious JG. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.